Hello, Briar. It's Mrs. Hale here with another story for you. This one is called Do Not Take Your Dragon to Dinner, written by Julie Gassman and illustrated by Andy Elkerton. Cool end papers. It's a special occasion. It's time for a treat. Time to dress up and go out to eat. But carefully consider your dinner's guest list. For my dear friend, I must simply insist. Do not take your dragon to dinner. A rude guest like a dragon disturbs everyone. He barges right in, he spoils the fun. A wing in your face, a tail in your drink. And worst of all, that distinct dragon stink. So do not take your dragon to dinner. Waiting for food, she'll get really bored. And then her behavior cannot be ignored. She'll grab for your phone, she'll crawl on the floor. She'll stand on the table and let out a roar. So do not take your dragon to dinner. You may believe that once food is in sight, your dragon will sit and be so polite. But he'll pick up his bowl, he'll drink with a slurp, and then he'll let out a fiery burp. So do not take your dragon to dinner. Burp. Dragons are known for taking big bites. When the food spills back out, it's a terrible sight. She pounds on the table. She plays with her food. She picks at her fangs. She's very, very rude. So do not take your dragon to dinner. But my dragon is so very special to me. Celebrate without him. It simply can't be. He's part of my family, part of my heart. What can I do so we don't have to part? Ah, my friend, I sense your frustration. But dinner at home could be a grand celebration. You can ask your dragon to help with the meal. His flame can sear and his claws can peel. He can set the table, put each dish in its place. He can light the candles with incredible grace. Then at dinner, practice being polite. Sit still. Use silverware, try not to ignite. Ask him to use napkins instead of his wings. Remind him to ignore the phone if it rings. Encourage him to close his mouth when he chews and be sure he remembers his pleases and thank yous. Practice this often and your etiquette beginner We'll soon be taking you out to dinner. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.